and welcome to another vlog. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so today we are chilling because it's Sunday. We don't do much else but chill on Sundays. I have a lot of just planning to do. I kind of am, I basically told myself that going forward, I am just not someone who can plan like every day or even like every Sunday. What I find to be most helpful is when I plan the night before. So instead of like going and buying a planner, I'm actually going to be making my own planner. Yes, I'm that type A person, guys, because I feel like all the planners out like at Target or whatever, they just don't really fit my needs because I'm a project based person. So I like to have like multiple pages or dedicate multiple pages to one project or whatever it is I'm going through in my life. Like I feel like you just have to dedicate more than just one page to it so i just feel like you know the normal planners are just too constraining so what i'm doing now is i'm going to be creating a planner using canva if you guys want to see like how i actually do that i don't mind doing a video on how i'm creating my planner maybe i will do a video on that but yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be developing the planner i'm also going to be planning in general i need to just plan what i want to do for this week because it's going to get pretty hectic again my son he is doing baseball so i need to go ahead and figure out like you know when am i going to have my me time when do i need to be where i need to be like all that stuff i need to basically sort through all of that on top of that it's getting like really beautiful outside so i definitely want to make sure i'm putting in some time to go outside and enjoy the weather i've actually started watching love is blind because i finished the love at first sight season if y'all want to talk about it we can talk about it but you know oh my god also y'all we hit 100 subscribers since the last vlog and i just want to say i'm so happy i'm like legit so happy because when i first started this channel i did not know exactly like what i wanted to do a lot of people have always like kind of told me i'm good at advice and i'm very open when i give advice and i'm a great listener and things of that nature and they were like you know maybe you should start a youtube channel and just you know let people know what you're thinking and you know your approach to life and so i started this channel on that preface and then it's just blossomed into something completely different i've re-centered in a way and i found again what makes me happy which is basically balancing both my creative and logical sides because i am a type a person i have a type a personality like if you know me in real life you know that like i'm like <laughs> but then also at the same time i'm also very creative and i love playing with arts mediums from this hobby to that hobby or whatever like i just don't I just go for it you know what i mean oh and also i want to bring this to my channel because i think that it's very important i talk about love and light and all this stuff all the time and i just want you to know that like i literally mean it you can always come here and feel safe and feel encouraged and inspired to truthfully be who you are and not want to be anyone or anything else you literally can come to this channel and do that and i definitely want to create that safe space especially in my comments section with that in mind anyway what i'm trying to say is basically with my vlogs i do want to always open them up with food for thought i guess if you will it won't always be a quote it won't always be like a statement today the quote or item or food for thought that i feel like i want to bring or open up this vlog with is this um therapist that i follow on instagram and by the way guys don't feel weird if you follow therapists it doesn't mean that necessarily anything is wrong with you it just means that maybe you want some expertise that you can apply to your life like there are so many free options for you to feed yourself mentally you don't have to pay for it all the time and i know that for some people the reason why they don't go to a therapist is because they can't afford it so anyhow just so you know instagram is at your leisure it's at your you have access to that it's a free tool use it i mean use it at your discretion always be smart about it but yeah anyway <laughs> the quote that i'm going to use today is from this therapist um the instagram tag is mt oliver and the quote is this stop saying you're burnt out when you never take lunch breaks and have 10,000 hours of pto the work will be there prioritize you make sure you're taking the time out for you i really really do mean that because it is so difficult you have so many distractions out here in life you have so many responsibilities just make sure that you're taking the time out for you and really doing whatever honors you as a person as your whole self so i'll catch you guys in the next clip this is how i want to do my hair i think i think that's gonna look like really cute it's like four big box braids 
Um, so I'm going to be doing that today. But like I was saying, so for the planner I was making, I'm using Canva to make it. And so this is like the going to be the front page of the planner. I don't know. I might add more decorations. We're seeing. We're still in the whole like brainstorm developing per uh, phase of this. But it just says a goal without a plan is just a wish. And then it has like the planner. Then I have like a calendar for the entire year. And then I have monthly calendars that I'm going to print out. So it was like really a little tedious to do this part because I had to like get the text boxes just right. And then like um, as well as like the numbers for each and line them up. It was it was a little tedious because I had to do it for every month. Um, so yeah, so I did it for all the different months. And then I got as far as to creating like a pre-month plan or pre-month reflection page so I'm going to have one of those for each of the months on that page I want to talk about like my goals and then also the quote I'm led by or what motivates me for that month or what intention I want to set for the month and then next I'm going to be planning like my weekly planning page this is terrible don't judge but again as like I said I'm still in the brainstorm phase of everything so I can't wait to finish this when I do get done I'm going to show you guys like the full product there is a way for you to make this digital and I was even wondering if I should like sell these on Etsy and just like make a bunch and um, like do it that way. I don't know. I'm so undecided. I feel like I have a lot going on and I'm always starting new things. It's giving pop smoke. Pop smoke. Uh, R.I.P. <laughs> I need to like set it. Um... Hello everybody, if I haven't said already, today is Thursday, it's been a minute. <laughs> We're actually headed to run a couple of errands. The first errand is um, this arcade that I want to go to tomorrow for my son's birthday celebration. Today he's actually, today is actually his birthday, he's 11 believe it or not. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to go there. I have to make sure I don't need to set reservations for the arcade because it's like half arcade, half bowling alley. Well, really one fourth bowling alley if I'm being honest. I still need to get something to hold my camera for my phone. So. Okay, so that was not helpful. <laughs> I think it's first come first serve is what I'm understanding. But she didn't really answer any of my questions. <laughs> but I, th I guess if worst comes to worst, we can always just do karaoke. Um, but I really want him to be able to go bowling. And then again, I could always just go to a bowling alley if we don't like the wait list situation. So there's that. I kind of want some boba. And I kind of want cake. It's these group of like guys. That's just like sitting right here talking outside. I ain't got nothing else to do. And then, oh, I also don't know what I'm making for dinner. Oh, I meant to take, oh, did I take them out? I think I took them out. I really hope I took that, the burgers out. I'm gonna make ground turkey burgers tonight. So I need to go get some buns. JK, I am not going home. I gotta go to the grocery store and get some buns and some cheese. I feel like cheese. I really need to stop eating cheese though before my birthday because I already know it does not agree with me. It makes me extremely bloated. Actually, yeah, I think I, it's time. It's a wrap. It's a wrap on the cheese, Delia. <laughs> All right, so call me crazy, but I saw something. Um. On TikTok, someone sent me a video, I think. And basically, it was saying like how men never receive flowers until usually they're like at their funeral. So, I thought it would be cute since it is my baby's birthday to give him a bouquet of flowers. Aren't they so cute? They're so pretty. And they were very affordable. They were only $6.99 at Lytle. So, when he gets home from school, he's gonna have a bouquet of flowers. There you go, 
Beyonce, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. You hear this? Happy birthday. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. <laughs> Hold on. They said your name. Who? Listen. That's a hundred dollars, babe. What? Yeah, count it up. Count it up. Count it up. What? Thank you. Hey guys, so it is, um, what day is it? <laughs> it is, I probably should have fixed these. It's Friday and we are headed to the gym. I took today off as well. I basically took today, yesterday and today off for, um, for my son's birthday. So today we're going to the gym and just gonna run a couple of errands. I'm actually gonna be going to Sephora. I'm really excited. Ah, I'm so happy. Um, I really wanna try the NARS Reflecting Foundation. And yeah, so I'm excited to do that. I'm actually in a loaner car right now. This is making me want to get another car like it's really making me want to get another car like I've only had the car that I have for two years and I'm already wanting to like trade it in I think if I did get a new car I want it to be an SUV like I think I'm over the sedan lifestyle especially now that I have a um a dog like Spock is huge and I just like the idea of being able just to like pull over and go like exploring lay out and look at the stars that type of thing like I enjoy um, doing stuff like that, so I definitely think I need an SUV. <laughs> That's where we are. Anyhow, we're headed to the gym. I don't know that I'm actually gonna take you guys in the gym with me, um, so just trust that I worked out, okay? All he wanna do is gas me. How we end up in the backseat? Just trying to get to the back. We on the same page, the same way. Only keep the fam around me. Alexa, how to fix a whipped cream Sorry, nozzle? I don't know that. Hey. What's up? I can't be great.
I'm upset. I completely forgot that I did not do a haul. I didn't show you guys what I got from Sephora. So I'm gonna do that now. Here are the goods. <laughs> um, okay, so first and foremost, I got these acne dots. Um, I don't know, just picked them up. Saw that everyone is using these to get rid of their blemishes. Never used them before, so I kind of want to see if they're worth the hype. Um, I'll update you guys. Then I also got this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. It's supposed to give glowing radiance and smooth your skin. It's also supposed to refine your pores as it has hyaluronic acid. And um, it's going to give you smooth and bouncy, juicy skin. Again, never used. Honestly, this was one of those things that you pick up like really last minute because like they know that you're going to be sitting in line forever and you're waiting there just looking at all the little things that you don't need because if you needed them you would have picked them up originally but now that you're there you're going to pick them up anyway so i was got this one i actually got on purpose this is the glow screen um or the super group glow screen sunscreen i have their seen unseen sunscreen but I wanted to try the glow screen because I've heard good things about it. People say they use this when they want to have a tint to the skin. Um, I've also seen people use this one underneath their, their makeup. So, I also got the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I've heard good things about this as well. They just This is their new foundation they just came out with. And then, lastly, I got these two... This is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with AHA. I also have the KP Smoothing Lotion with AHA as well. But I picked these up because I watched this YouTube channel called Dr. Lee. They're two dermatologists basically who give you advice on how to perfect problem areas or things of that nature that you might have. And I have both KP, which is keratosis pilaris, or AKA chicken skin, on my thighs and the back of my arms. And then I also have dark elbows and knees. And apparently these two are supposed to help, according to Dr. Lee, the two dermatologists. So I'm giving them a try and I'll let you guys know. And that's pretty much it for the Sephora haul. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. Babe, um, tell me more about how you bought chicken from a man in a truck. Dude, you're just not about to get me on camera. I just call you where you can record. No! <laughs> just call you where you can no. record. I'm not about to do this. No! <laughs> Okay, 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 well, please. Okay, maybe we can turn this to a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't want the people to know that you bought $150 worth of chicken, pre-seasoned chicken, from a man in a truck? <laughs> Why you don't want people to know that? 